The Shenzhou Program, Chinese, Shenzhou is a manned spaceflight initiative by China. The program put the first Chinese citizen, Yang Liwei, into orbit on 15 October 2003. Development began in 1992, under the name of Project 921-1. The Chinese National Manned Space Program was given the designation Project 921 with Project 921-1 as its first significant goal. The plan called for a manned launch in October 1999. Prior to the new millennium, the first four unmanned test flights happened in 1999, 2001, and 2002. These were followed by two manned missions. The second one was launched on the 12th of October 2005. The Shenzhou missions were launched on the Long March 2F from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. The command center of the mission is the Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center. The China Manned Space Engineering Office provides engineering and administrative support for the manned Shenzhou missions. The name can be variously translated as Divine Ark, Divine Vessel, or the like. Topic: History China's first efforts at human spaceflight started in 1968 with a projected launch date of 1973. Although China did launch an unmanned satellite in 1970 and has maintained an active unmanned program since, the manned spaceflight program was cancelled due to lack of funds and political interest. The current Chinese human spaceflight program was authorized on 1 April 1992 as Project 921 1, with work beginning on 1 January 1993. The initial plan has three phases. Phase 1 would involve launch of two unmanned versions of the manned spacecraft, followed by the first Chinese manned spaceflight, by 2002. Phase 2 would run through 2007, and involve a series of flights to prove the technology, conduct rendezvous and docking operations in orbit, and operate an 8-ton spacelab using the basic spacecraft technology. Phase 3 would involve orbiting of a 20-ton space station in the 2010-2015 period, with crews being shuttled to it using the 8-ton manned spacecraft. The chief designers include Chi Farin and Wang Yongzhi. The first unmanned flight of the spacecraft was launched on 19 November 1999, after which Project 921-1 was renamed Shenzhou, a name reportedly chosen by Jiang Zemin. A series of three additional unmanned flights ensued. The Shenzhou re-entry capsules used to date are 13% larger than Soyuz re-entry capsules, and it is expected that later craft will be designed to carry a crew of four instead of Soyuz's three. Although physical limitations on astronaut size, as experienced with earlier incarnations of Soyuz, will likely apply, the fifth launch, Shenzhou 5, was the first to carry a human, Yang Liwei, and occurred at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time (UTC +8) on the 15th of October. October 2003, like similar space programs in other nations, Shenzhou has raised some questions about whether China should spend money on launching people into space, arguing that these resources would be better directed elsewhere. Indeed, two earlier human spaceflight programs, one in the mid-1970s and the other in the 1980s, were cancelled because of expense. In response, several justifications have been offered in the Chinese media. One is that the long-term destiny of humanity lies in the exploration of space, and that China should not be left behind. Another is that such a program will catalyze the development of science and technology in China. Finally, it has been argued that the prestige resulting from this capability will increase China's stature in the world. In a similar manner to the 2008 Olympics, on the 17th of October 2005, following the success of Shenzhou 6, Chinese media officially stated that the cost of this flight was around 110 million dollars, and the gross cost of Project 921 over one in the past 11 years was $2.3 billion. 
These values are lower than the cost of similar space programs in other nations. The Chinese media has heavily promoted the experiments undertaken by Shenzhou, particularly exposing seeds, including some from Taiwan, to zero gravity and radiation. Most scientists, however, discount the usefulness of this type of experiment. The experience during the 1960s of both the United States with the Manned Orbiting Laboratory and the Soviet Union with the Almaz Space Station suggests that the military usefulness of human spaceflight is quite limited and that practically all military uses of space are much more effectively performed by unmanned satellites. Thus while the Shenzhou orbital module could be used for military reconnaissance, there appears to be no military reason for incorporating such a system in a manned mission, as China could use purely unmanned satellites for these purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Shenzhou spacecraft The Shenzhou spacecraft resembles the Russian Soyuz, although it is substantially larger. Unlike the Soyuz, it features a powered orbital module capable of autonomous flight. Like Soyuz, Shenzhou consists of three modules, a forward orbital module, Gui Daokang a re-entry capsule Fan Weikang in the middle, and an aft service module. This division is based on the principle of minimizing the amount of material to be returned to Earth. Anything placed in the orbital or service modules does not require heat shielding, and this greatly increases the space available in the spacecraft without increasing weight as much as it would need to be if those modules needed to withstand re-entry. Topic: Future missions. Topic: Astronauts. Topic: November 1996 trainer selection. There were two astronaut trainers selected for Project 921. They trained at the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonauts Training Center in Russia. Li Qinglong, born August 1962 in Dingyuan, Enwei Province and PLAAF Interceptor Pilot and Space Instructor at Star City Wu Ji January 1998 Astronaut Candidate Selection Chen Quan Deng Qingming, from Jiangxi Province and PLAAF pilot, back up on Shenzhou 11 Fei Junlong, second Chinese astronaut, commander of Shenzhou 6 Jing Haipeng, born October 1966 and PLAAF pilot, astronaut of Shenzhou 7, Shenzhou 9 and Shenzhou 11. Liu Boming, born September 1966 and PLAAF pilot, astronaut of Shenzhou 7. Liu Wang, born in Shanxi province and PLAFF pilot, flew on Shenzhou 9. NIE Heisheng, back up in Shenzhou 5, flight engineer on Shenzhou 6, commander of Shenzhou 10. Pan Zhangkan PLAAF pilot Yang Liwei, first man sent into space by the space program of China on Shenzhou 5, made the PRC the third country to independently send people into space. Zhai Zhigang, back up in Shenzhou 5, commander of Shenzhou 7. Zhang Xiaoguang, born in Liaoning Province and PLAAF pilot, flew on Shenzhou 10. Zhao Chuandong, PLAAF pilot. Topic: 2010 astronaut candidate selection. Kai Zuzhe, Chen Dong, flew on Shenzhou 11. Liu Yang, first Chinese woman into space, flew on Shenzhou 9. Tang Hongbo, back up on Shenzhou 11. Wang Yaping, second Chinese woman into space, flew on Shenzhou 10. 
Yi Guangfu Zhang Hu Topic See also Long March rocket Tiangong program Space program of China China National Space Administration Beijing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics <laughs>